Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Michael Fiedler and I'm a member of the Flash Copy Manager development team. This video is the first in a three-part series that demonstrates how to use Tivoli Flash Copy Manager for disaster recovery in an IBM Smart Cloud virtual environment. For the first video, I set up and configure Flash Copy Manager at the primary and secondary sites. For the second video, I demonstrate using Tivoli Storage Productivity Center to provision the volumes and configure the VMware environment. For the third video, we complete a Flash Copy Manager backup, demonstrate a failover and complete a restore. By the end of this series, you will know how to use the IBM Smart Cloud Virtual Storage Center to protect your VMware environment against a disaster. Let's get started with this, our first video in the series. This is the environment setup that is used in this tutorial. There are two sites, a primary site and a secondary site, that have similar configuration. Both sites have a dedicated Flash Copy Manager vStorage backup server with an IP connection to an SVC storage device. The SVC storage devices are connected to each other over IP to establish a remote mirror relation between their volumes. There is also a vCenter server with one or multiple ESX hosts at each site. The vCenter server manages the data stores and virtual machines. The storage for the data store is allocated to an SVC storage device at the primary site and is replicated to an SVC storage device on the secondary site. A Tivoli Storage Productivity Center server is installed and configured to manage both SVC storage devices. It has also connections to the ESX hosts to retrieve data and map volumes to these hosts. Now let's take a look at the configuration of the Flash Copy Manager server at the primary site. Flash Copy Manager for VMware version 4.1.1 is installed on the server. When you start the Flash Copy Manager for VMware user interface for the first time and there is no valid profile configuration present, the configuration wizard starts automatically. Click Next to get to the vCenter server credentials page to re-enter the password of your vCenter server. Click Next to get to the GUI domain configuration page where you can add or remove FCM managed VMware data centers. Click Next to get to the selection of the ESX host on the primary site. By clicking Next you get to the definition of the device class. Since I'm using SVC storage, I name it SVC, select the according device type and type in the host name and the administrator credentials for the SVC storage device on the primary site. For SVC, I also need to specify the pattern for the target volume names. For all these fields, I accept the default values. Now select the Create Snapshots on Remote Site checkbox and enter the information for the SVC storage device on the secondary site. By checking this option, you configure Flash Copy Manager so that all backups triggered at the primary site are now being started directly on the secondary site. Click Save to finish the definition of the device class. Then press Next to get to the summary page of the configuration wizard. By clicking Finish, the configuration wizards saves all the specified parameters to the FCM profile and restarts the Flash Copy Manager processes. With that, the configuration of FCM at the primary site is completed. Now I'm going to configure the Flash Copy Manager server at the secondary site. This configuration can be completed as part of the failover scenario or with the initial setup of the environment. The easiest way to do that is to reuse the existing Flash Copy Manager profile from the primary site. 
Simply use a remote file transfer tool to copy over the profile. I use SCP at the primary site server console to copy the file. Now I switch to the console of the secondary flash copy manager server, which must also be installed upfront. For the configuration, we can use the console based configuration wizard. Now specify the addresses of the vCenter server at the secondary site, as well as the auxiliary ESX hostname on the secondary site. All other profile parameters can stay the same by simply pressing enter. Now specify the passwords for the storage devices and the vCenter server. After restarting the FCM processes, the configuration of the Flash Copy Manager server on the secondary site is complete. At this point, we have successfully set up and configured Flash Copy Manager at the primary and secondary site to see how to use Tivoli Storage Productivity Center to provision the volumes and using vSphere client to configure the VMware environment continue to the second video in this series. If you have questions or comments, feel free to contact me or any other IBM representative. I hope you find that this information is useful and I look forward to seeing you again soon.